All right. Well, thanks everyone for coming out. Uh, we've uh, had hoped for nice weather to be able on the, outside on this beautiful patio, but here we are in, in gathered in a beautiful home with great, uh, gracious hosts. Thank you for Bob for being willing to share your birthday with me. <laughs> Seriously. That's, that's very, very kind of you, very gracious again, so I'm glad to be here. Thanks everyone for taking a little bit of time out of your very busy schedules to be here. I know you're all here because you care about Arlington. Uh, and we all care about Arlington, and I'm so very, very uh, overwhelmed by the amount of support that I'm finding every day. It's growing more and more. Uh, it means so much to me and my family to know that this journey that we started on, not sure where the heck this was going to go. You know, a couple of months ago, wasn't even sure if I had my head screwed on straight. Where <laughs> And here we are, we're gaining more momentum every day, and I really, really am feeling better and better and better that we are on our way to victory, and it's because of every one of you who are here tonight. Yay! And all of you. What's also awesome is to be able to meet uh, new people here tonight. I've had several great conversations already. And for those uh, who, who don't know my background yet, let me just share with you that Renee and I, we've been living in Lion Park for the last 20 years. We're raising our three daughters. They're around here somewhere. The the hiding the they right. come out for snacks every five minutes. <laughs> you might catch a glimpse of them if you pay attention. And they're all in Arlington schools. Uh, I uh, have uh, gotten involved in Arlington in the Arlington way through my civic association there in Lion Park. I was president of the Civic Association. Uh, I joined the board of Doorways for Women and Families. A couple of fellow board members are here. Shelley, thank you for being here. Great past president. Christy's also a past uh, uh, president of the board. So I really got a sense of what a great nonprofit sector that we have here in Arlington and how special it is, the social safety net that we have, and the way that our nonprofits leverage the public dollars that they get with the great investments and donations that we get. Um, and I'm sure for many of you also in this room who are, who are great supporters. Um, I uh, also uh, am vice chair of the planning commission, uh, and so I've gotten a sense of what it means to be involved in Arlington through our commissions. I was on the transportation commission. I also liaison with the economic development commission. Um, and finally, I uh, own a small business here in Arlington, Clarendon Home Services. We were the Chamber of Commerce 2012 Small Service Business of the Year. I'm very proud of the team that we've put together there and the great work that they're doing. And it's afforded me <laughs> and it's afforded me the opportunity now to be able to uh, to give back to my community in an even greater way. And so why am I running? Fundamentally, why am I running? I'm running because I know that we can do a much better job of planning for our future than the leadership we're getting from yeah. the current chair of the board. Yeah. I believe I have better qualifications to bring that experience that I've got from the Civic Association side, from the nonprofit sector, as a small business owner, someone who knows firsthand what it's like to do business with, with Arlington County, that I can bring those qualifications and make sure that we are meeting the challenges of today with solutions for tomorrow. And that means we've got to make long-term strategic investments. We can do a better job of planning for our future, and I'm going to make sure that we do that. So what that means, that means on transportation. You know, we are a transit-oriented development community. We, we wrote the book on what it means to be a successful, prosperous community where we built our land use planning around our transit systems. That pack, that, as Eric Harold calls it, the three legs of the stool, the rug was pulled out from underneath our South Arlington community, underneath Columbia Pike. We have approved more density on Columbia Pike and then pulled the rug out under the transit option and have done nothing in the meantime to come up with a, a reasonable solution for a transit system moving forward on Columbia Pike. That's unacceptable and we can't do that. Schools. We all know that we are facing a serious challenge of rising enrollment. Uh, and we're going to have to roll up our sleeves and, 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 and have meaningful discussions about how are we going to accommodate uh, growing student enrollment and do it where we know we have uh, scarce land available. There is no more land available in Arlington County. We're not going to find any more land. 
but we can meet these challenges. But we have to do it in a way where we're all coming at it with what's in it for us, not a what's in it for me kind of conversation. So I think it's not acceptable that we've had a leader who, who has seen fit to be divisive and play politics with issues. So where we end up having, every time we want to talk about where we're going to put a school, we get the parks people that want to say, well, what about, we need to preserve our parks. So what about our parks? Where we have affordable housing uh, advocates that talk about, well, what about affordable housing? It can't be, what about parks? What about affordable housing? What about schools? What about what's in it for me? Those are all great goals. Those are all great priorities. It has to be a conversation about what's in it for all of us. And the way you do that is we have to rebuild trust that people have in how we do local government. And you don't rebuild trust by taking the, the work, the year and a half long work of the community facility study, 200 plus volunteers, a very widely well received blueprint for how to move forward. And Ms. Garvey has pushed that aside, came out with this gang of six uh, so-called blue ribbon panel with no public input, left the school board out completely, tossed aside the community facility study, comes up with her own ideas about how to, how to move forward. We can't have that. That's not acceptable, and we shouldn't stand for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's time that we turn the page. I think that Arlington is ready to turn the page. The more doors that I knock, the more coffees I go to, the more events like this, and we're talking to people, it's really about that Arlington is at a crossroads, that we are ready to move into a new era. We have two new board members uh, on the county board that were elected last year. I think it's time for another new one. <laughs> Someone who will turn the page on the divisive politics of the past, Someone who's going to turn the page on the hollow rhetoric of fiscal responsibility when we know that when you make investments in our people, when you make investments uh, in our students, when you make investments in transportation, when you make investments in our public facilities like an aquatic center, that those, that's not fiscal irresponsibility, that's investing in ourselves and it pays back over and over again. We have to be willing to make those investments. And I will turn the page. And I think we are ready to turn the page on the budget games that we've seen. Our affordable housing investment fund is the bedrock of our affordable housing master plan. It is the baseline. It is not, it is not to be messed with. It is something that we have a long-standing history that we are all very, very proud of here in Arlington. That we, are, we understand that a diverse community adds economic value. It's not... It's not an expenditure, it's an investment, and we should not play games with the Affordable Housing Investment Fund, and we're going to turn the page on those kind of games. Yeah. And finally, last but not least, we are going to turn the page on a Democrat who cannot even <laughs> pledge that she will still be a Democrat this time next year. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks everyone for coming. I'm happy to, I don't know if anyone takes some questions.